All right, Coach, I think we've known it was a possibility for a while you'd have to move the game this week, but uh, what changes this weekend ready to play at CNS instead of inside the Carrier Dome? Well, we, fortunately, we had some good weather today, so we're outside practicing on a similar field that we're going to see on Sunday. We're going to try to get out there again on Saturday, but we're not sure because of the weather. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the first outside home game that I can remember since 1979. So I think our guys are kind of excited to have a, a home game outside, and hopefully the weather is going to be uh, what's predicted. All right, first time in 40 years is always fun, no matter uh, what it is. And, uh, Coach, you played Duke in uh, a million different places here over the last five, six years, it, it seems, uh, from the weird to the normal. What, what's this series been like? It feels every time you guys show up, you're playing wild and crazy one-goal games. Yeah, it's a, you know obviously a very competitive series, and now that we're in the ACC, uh, it's an important game for our conference, and, and both teams, I think, play fairly wide open. They like to go to the goal and a little bit aggressively, uh, play aggressively defensively. So it should be a good game to for our players to play in and a good game for our fans to watch. Looks like you fixed the fourth quarter issues from the Virginia game with these last couple of weeks. What, what have you seen with these wild fourth quarters you put up here the last two games? Well, I'm a little more concerned about the first quarter than the fourth quarter as we've been playing, but um, I think the, the team has just become comfortable for, for who figuring out who the other team that we're playing against is and how to take advantage of it as the game goes on. So fortunately, we've been playing well in the fourth quarter. So if you look at the basketball schedule and, and, and kind of play it long term, you probably see that this weekend was going to be potentially uh, a women's basketball in the Dome. Was there any possibility or any talk like months ago, perhaps shuffling the schedule around for lacrosse so that maybe, maybe there was an away game this weekend? Could that have been done at all? Uh, we've talked about that. Uh, I think this is maybe the second time that they've had this game here. So, you know, percentages over the years, we've, you know, we've elected to have a home game on, on this weekend. Uh, what's tough is the amount of time that they take between, you know, Friday and, and Sunday. Had, you know, if it's a day shorter, we could have had the game in there on a Friday night or a uh, Monday or Sunday night, but that's not how it works. So, um, you know, we're actually looking forward to getting outside and playing outside. So you couldn't have had, like, uh, the North Dame game this weekend or the North Carolina game on this weekend? That wasn't... Uh, those, those schedules are set so far in advance oh, really? that, you know, to try to... It's one thing if you're just switching us and another team, but now you'd have to switch another team and their opponent, right. and that, that doesn't usually work out. And then when you look, say, to 2020, you can probably guess right now where that weekend of possible women's basketball would be. Could, could you do things looking ahead and say, okay, let's just keep this weekend clear, period? Yeah, we could. You know, I think a little bit of administration has to get involved in that and finding out the availability of the Dome, and usually that's pretty good this time of year. But um, it's it's something for us to consider. And then going to Hobart, I mean, that's, a, that's like Tuesday night game, so that's not really applicable. You couldn't just you know, have the Hobart game moved up or changed around. So... It had to be a, Saturday, a weekend game to switch, right? For, for our con for Duke for our conference yeah, game. If you wanted an away game this weekend, you could, the whole game. Yeah, and next year we won't have that issue. Should should be down at Duke, so um, you know you're talking about two years from now that we maybe could make some arrangements. You mentioned getting out on CNS early. Um, you know, it's a great field. It's not like there's a home tremendous home field advantage or or a quirkiness in the field. So how important is it to get out there Saturday and? And play around. Well, I think that I think the surface is is pretty similar. I've been out there for a number of high school games, um, you know, and it's a, it's a nice venue. And inside, with the concessions and the restrooms and those kinds of things, there is an inside piece. So for our fans, I think that's good for this time of year because who knows what we could get weather-wise. Uh, and the surface is the same. So I'd, I'd like to at least get our guys out there to see the facility, even if we can't have a lot of practice on it. And then the all important question: Nobody likes standing in the cold, especially when you get to you know, our age or my age, age. So, do you? I mean, you look at the forecast. You bundle it up. I mean, I know you're running around so much. You're probably into the game. You're sweating. Yeah. But how much does the goal affect you guys? Well, I think you know probably more for the coaches and the players. The players are uh, are moving and excited to play. And I think we're going to get a day similar to today is what we're hoping for. So, uh, it was no problem out there today. What you were practicing on? You said outside today. Yeah, yeah, we were outside today.